dragon marked for death. Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to the K-Wings Let's Plays channel, and we are looking at Dragon Marked for Death on the Nintendo Switch. Brought to you by our friends over at Inti Creates, who provided us a copy of this game, and it is out now for the Nintendo Switch. Oh, yeah. Basically by the people that brought you Gunvolt. So this is a medieval yeah. game where you get to play as two characters, a female and a guy warrior. So a we're... female and a guy. Yep. We'll be showing you guys the first probably about uh, half hour of the game, and if you want to see more of this, let us know. So these are the two characters. I'm going to go with this girl, because she You're looks kind of cool. Because she has a sword there. I do like the sword, yeah. So, uh, I guess purple's our color. Well, red. Uh, purple? I like purple, purple yeah. I think the horns look best in purple, personally. Character, sample voice. She sounds kind of cool. I like that one. The white. Uh, you picked a cute voice. I'm gonna call her. Well, they were all pretty cute, but. <laughs> what are you doing? What's going on? There. <laughs> She's Ambi. <laughs> this is a spitting image. Of contract me. approved. <laughs> what? what? What contract did I sign? Did you just sign me up with something? I think I did. Yes. Oh, this is nice. Some girl off on a stroll. The Astral Dragon once saved a tribe of people who were on the brink of destruction. That's the Astral Dragon? It's like a little girl. Receiving the dragon's blood, they became known as the Dragon Blood Clan. What an original name. I know, right? <laughs> However, the world was dominated by the Divine Family and bathed in the light of the Celestial. I don't think this has a happy ending for that girl. Whoa. The people of the kingdom bore a deep loathing toward the clan. This is like Warcraft now. Yeah. Oh! All of the kingdom. Whoa. All of the divine. All for the divine king. That's the divine Whoa. king. For all of the dragon be gone from this world. Ah. Whoa. Well, that's one way to do kingdom expansion. Child of your own blood. You desire power. Vengeance. She's like, anyone else hear the voices? We are the Astral Dragon. The rage and grief have summoned us from our slumber. Atrum? Upon this world's genesis, I guess, we suffered defeat by the Celestial. Leaving the world to the humans in their new age, we did retire here. It sounds like Warcraft. We have abandoned power and war, and yet are still those who would pursue us. There are those who use power to enforce tyranny. They now force us to let our power be known once more. Yeah, it does. You... <clears throat> so shall it be engraved upon the divine family themselves who dare to rob the clan of their lives. While we yet live, we will not abandon the clan. It's like the orcs, almost. Yep. Oh, that looks painful. I guess she's not a sweet, innocent girl anymore. Uh, I don't understand. Thou now bear the power to enact revenge, and thy body is proof. There are none who can stop thee, in whom the astral dragon's power dwells. Is it a dragon coming out of her body? It looks like it. The divine family stole thy home, thy family, and thy friends. 
Thou shalt judge them rightly. Whoa. Well, the music's happy again. <laughs> Dragon Blood Village. I think it's more like Dragon Blood Village. Yay! <laughs> she looks so happy. Her voice is so cute. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh, that's cool. So she has that coming out of her arm, like. Yeah, her arm's gone. She's got a dragon on it. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's like Ryu from. Uh, Dynasty Wars, or not from Dynasty Wars. Oh my Ninja gosh, Gaiden? Ninja Gaiden. Man. Yeah, demon arm, except, you know, full-blown demon arm. I guess we can't go this way. So I like that you can zoom in like this. And this game is supposed to be two-player, but not really sure how that'll work. We'll look into it uh, after our first episode. Mm -hmm. Now move onward, slave. Eliminate anything in our way. I mean, your way. So basically, we're just out for revenge. Yeah, isn't that usually how revenge works, though? I guess. I mean... Forgive and forget? Not for the Dragon Clan. Okay. Destroy those obstacles! It feels like you have a weird voice in your head telling you what to do. Jump to reach the platform. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, there's a treasure chest there. That looks fun. L. You received a door key. Oh, that Yay. was easy. I like that. Did I? I think I did this right. I like how I can zoom in, and then we can see what the character looks better. But the creepy dragon arm is kind of... One may often find the way forward by... I interrupted him. And I didn't, didn't really stick around too long. Yeah. Now descend from the platform. Move swiftly onward. Wait, how do you want me to do that? The platform's going that way. Oh, I get it. Oh, well, we have to go this way and then go up. Yeah, I changed the direction of the uh, platforms. This kind of reminds me of Castlevania more than Gunvolt, though. Not that that's a bad thing. Well, I mean, not all, but... I mean, it's not every game yet. It's gonna be like gunpoint. Ah. Oops! Oh, oh failed. Oh. Try this again. Practicing your 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 moves there. Yeah, just in case I need to fight more bug things. You've received a rainbow candy. Yum. Oh, is it like a rainbow-colored gummy bears? Gummy bears. Pack it. Sever the rope. To drop the bridge. This rope? You want me to sever this rope? Yes, this rope. I don't know if you should do that. Oh, oh that was cool. Well, that is a gigantic bridge. Well, I mean, this was the home of the dragon clan, so I mean... All right, extend the dragon's arm and grasp the grapple point. Uh, that thing? How do I extend the dragon arm? They weren't very specific. Oh, there we go. How'd I do that? How did I do that? See, it didn't happen again. There it is. Okay, so it's, um... It's this... It's the left button. So the, the one that you use to dash, and then you just... Like that. I think that's gonna come in handy later. Uh... What? Those look like gears of some kind? Oh! I think we have to do the dragon thing again. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. Whoops! Sorry, I was just watching you play. Sorry about that. No, oh, no big. I mean, it's a pretty looking game. I love 2D side scrollers, especially mm -hmm. ones that are very Castlevania like. Unleash the flame of the dragon arm! With Whoa, A. That, that, your flame is scary. I was just thinking, man, I could, I could do so many things with a dragon arm in real life. Well, I mean, you wouldn't really need to use an oven anymore. You could just use a dragon arm to, uh, you know, cook, cook things. Stuff. Yeah. No, I was thinking more like revenge on my enemies, but yeah, I guess you could use it for cooking, too. Gather the power in the dragon's arm flame and pour it and stuff. Okay. Am I pouring it? Am I doing it? A little rice ball there. Yay, rice ball. I've never had a rice ball, actually. Mm. I want one. I guess they're pretty easy to make. I should have tutorials on YouTube how to make them. 
You received raspberry bread. You just need some rice vinegar. Hmm. And like a little thing. Well, if you wanted to make it exactly like that, you need to get some jasmine rice, rice vinegar, and then you usually get like some little piece of seaweed to wrap around it. Toasted seaweed. Toasty. Okay, so yeah. we can't go this way. So let's try. Oh, wait, nope, that's wrong. Uh, so we have to do dragon swing. Dang it. I'll use your dragon arm to help heat the house too, a little bit of its gold. Yeah. Um, this, I don't like, the grappling hook doesn't quite work how it should. It's, it's a little finicky. That corpse has a key to retrieve it. What? Ugh. That was kind of gross. Oh, there's a treasure chest there. Now that's not so bad. So that guy was just hanging out to give us a key. That works. And in case you guys didn't know, this game is a part of our K-Team series, so it is rated T. Just like most Gunvolt games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did I grab it? Rated T. For terrific. How is... For tubular. Oh, right, yeah, that would be... I was thinking K-Team, but... Oh, right. Uh, okay. Ow! Stop hurting me! I'm just a little girl with a possessed dragon arm! How dare you! Aren't you trying to slaughter them to get revenge? Wouldn't they want to, uh, defend themselves a little bit? Yeah, but it was the knights that destroyed the dragon clan. What did these, uh, what these bug things? things do? Other than just being in the way I of know, the dragon lord. Right. Just kind of minding their own business here. I guess everything yeah, counts as revenge. You're gonna take revenge on the world, kind of like Dracula takes revenge on the world for killing his wife. Um, only the humans. Oh, he doesn't kill, like, helpless animals? Nope. Oh, that's so nice of him. Yeah, you should... Well, I mean, I wouldn't talk about it, but the Castlevania Netflix series was fantastic. Really good. Yeah, very... not... teen or E-rated. No, definitely not. Indeed. You could probably go... Oh, I was gonna say... <gasps> why? Ah! I was gonna say, you could have smashed that. Apparently it can't go that way, no, so... you have to run and smash it. There we go. Okay, you're good. You happy now? I feel better. You feel better? Good. Well, mm -hmm. let's ride this thingy. So yeah, it's super cold right now inside of our house. Mm, I'm wearing Luke's, like, Christmas sweatshirt. You received... Question mark accessory. I don't really know what question mark accessory is. Uh... Yeah, it's it's cold, but the maintenance dude said there's nothing wrong with our heat, so... It's just, it's a very cold winter this year. Like, it's not usually in the below weather. Maybe 30s or something like that. It's, uh... 20 degrees outside. So... Yeah, I don't know. When I was at my job today, like... Customers were complaining that it was cold inside. It's like, you think it's cold inside here? Go outside, fools. Oh. I'll show you what cold really is. <laughs> That's what I should have said. <laughs> Say that on your last day. <laughs> Goodbye, fools! I go to a better place. One where you shan't follow. Oh, that's poison. Oh. Uh, don't eat all the mushrooms, kids. Apparently it's not good for you. No. Burninate! Burninating the country. Something unpleasant lurks ahead. Keep thy wits about thee. That's that's yeah, the unpleasant yeah, yeah. thing, this beam of light. Oh. I am an envoy of the celestial Prim sinner. Primatus? Primatus sinner, listen well. The divine family who rightly worship the celestial saw fit to judge your village, and did so in consort with the Legion of Divine Knights. Thus was the will of those who live in this world. We do not interfere in such affairs. However, that which you wield, the power of the Astral Dragon, who opposes the Celestial, yeah, to avert under the disaster, the blaze of vengeance must be extinguished! Dance with death. Dance with death. I love dancing with death. Why? I'm so weird. 
Wow, so that guy the, has a lot of health. So the people of the cel who worship the celestial Ow. came and destroyed the villages that were loyal to the dragon. I guess that's what happened. So it's the dragon versus the celestial. The celestial what? Ow. Um, maybe like. Yeah. Do we have any health? Ooh, we do. Well, that makes life that's easier. That's much better. Yes. Ah! What the heck? Dude! You and your creepy ice powers. Alright, let's try holding this in and see what this does. Whoa! That was pretty tight. Dead. Oh. Awesome. Yeah, I kind of like that. Alright, what's in the chest? So long, Celestial Fool. You, you received, received the question sword. Mark, question mark sword. I love question mark swords. <laughs> They're my favorite. Do you have the new sword right now, or you just received it? You didn't. Uh. Mm, Such so says. So. Yeah, short sword. Steel bangle. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But. Complete quest. But you already have a sword, and it doesn't have another one listed there. Interesting. Quality holy water. Rainbow candy. Question oh, mark sword. You haven't received it. Received it yet. There we go. Hunter Item appraised. Sword. And how do we equip it's said probably things? Probably not as good as the one you have right now. Uh, yeah, it is. Attack plus eight. Oh. That's pretty good. Level up. Dragon up. Effects of physical attack power. I can effects say that. hit chance. Yes, you can. Uh, mm -hmm. Effects magic resistance. Vitality. Uh, luck. Effects dragon attacks. Ooh. These indicate bonus. All right, so we'll do what? We'll do one here, one for strength, one for that, and another for this. That looks good. Good job. Do I get to be the dragon some more? Whoa, there's a yeah! You beat a celestial pawn, Boba monster. Well, it's a little goblin. Yep. Uh, the power that dwells inside thee is beyond the limits of humans, strong enough to consume souls. Well, if thou truly desire power, feast upon souls without discrimination. Even that lowly creature possesses power worth devouring. Well, hey, what do you want with me? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be ugly. I, I ain't even done nothing. Oh no! No! Stop! What are you gonna do? Ah! They couldn't show it on camera. It was too gruesome. Oh, oh my gosh. Other than those who had journeyed from the village, only one other villager survived the attack. Wow. I know. The Dragon Blood Oracle. Amika. She was spared and taken hostage by the Legion of Divine Knights. Isn't that a car insurance thing, too? <laughs> oh. A oracle or divine? Am Amika. Ami yeah, I think so. A dragon blood oracle is only born once in a century. What does the divine family want with that power? Open a chain of restaurants called Dragon Blood? Thou wilt only understand their attentions by hearing it from their own mouths. Dun dun dun! Journey for the Imperial Capital in the Kingdom of Medis. Medius. Set out. Uh, seat of the Divine Family's power. Sorry, it's hard for me to figure out no, words. No, it's fine. Hide yourself among the forgotten of the slums. Those who will also suffer the family's contempt. Thank you for reading so much. You're doing like all the reading work. And you sound cool. Oh, this looks like a happy place. Oh, wait. This is your first time in the city. I was gonna say, oh, wait, that's a dude. Yeah. That's totally a dude. He's got Whoa. hair covering his face. Yeah. Hey, no need for the death glare. You look like you've been through heck, man. Everyone here's the same way. Folks with some other problem or another end up all here all the time. Something okay. like that. Okay. Man, the guy's got a giant bird on his shoulder. Welcome to the glorious kingdom, the finest of the slums. All hail the divine whatever. Uh, we have open arms for all who come and no questions asked for those who leave. 
Everyone's got enough of their own crap to deal with as it is. Well, I'm already going to the trouble. I may as well teach you a thing or two about life here. Here's a bar near here where all the adventurers hang out. See you there. Okay. Wait, that was that was an interesting Thank you, introduction. Dude. Thank you, guy with giant bird. There's no way that bird can fit in that bird cage that he's got there. Yeah, you would think so. I mean, the bird must have to like basically be cramped, folded into a little ball. This city sits in the shadow of the capital. All kinds of folks wash up here. The people who end up here can only make a living taking on dirty jobs from all over the continent. At this bar, jobs range from finding lost pets to hunting the strongest monsters in the kingdom. Mm. The Divine Family only tolerates trash like us because we clean up after everyone else. You tell the young man you have business with the Divine Family. Well, what is your business? Business with the Divine Family? What could you... Well, whatever. Uh, there's no way some of that high and mighty would come down here willingly. Uh, your chance is like taking on jobs and making a name for yourself? That could get you an audience. Maybe. And hey, the harder you work, the better off this place will be. And more folks might even show up. So, let's mm. see what you could do. We're counting on you for all our sakes, I guess. So the harder you work, the more people will magically come to your town? It sounds like this game is going to be a grind. I mean, I like it, it so like, far. It sounds like you have to do a trillion errands so that the Divine Family will notice you. And then once they do, then you have to, like, use revenge with your dragon hand. Yes. I like nee. claiming revenge. What's this place? Why couldn't you just... Rush the castle walls right now and get it over with. Hey, come on in! Haven't you... Uh, haven't seen you around before. Is this your first time in the city? This here's the inn. Before you set off on a quest, stop by and get your supplies in order. At an inn? Oh! Okay, alright. Let's mess with our, uh... You can have this free trunk to put stuff in, I guess. Hunter sword. There we go. Hey. There we go. Equip two different swords. Oh, Steel bangle. Ogre's bangle. bangle. There we go. And I guess you could put steel for the next one. Chat settings. What are chat settings? Nice to meet you. Good work. Thank you. My bad. Phrases. Oh. Well, those are phrases. Item trunk. We have nothing in the item trunk. All right. Well, just... Good luck on your adventure! Thank you! So polite. Okay. Whoops! Sorry, sorry. Probably shouldn't unleash that in town. It's an old woman. Young one, you've got quite an interesting aura about you. Hmm, yes. You've piqued my curiosity quite a bit. I'll read your fortune for free, then. Mmm! -hmm. Yes. I see it! Your goals, should you wish to achieve them, the straightest path is the most dangerous one. I can see many branching paths before you. Occasionally a single path it may seem as if all you must do is simply walk down it. However, you should scour it carefully. Only by doing so will you find the true way. That was kind of a lame reading. What? Me? Not you, I meant... Oh, oh, you mean the reading. Oh, yeah. I think she just gave you a generic reading. I know. Okay, this must be the first time I've seen a Dragonblood adventurer. Uh, I had heard the Dragonblood clan detested fighting, but perhaps that was mistaken? Even though this is the slums, we are still in the capital of the city. Uh, this land where the followers of the Celestial are the strongest... To come all the way here, you must have had a good reason. Yeah, let's go with that. Ooh, weapon shop. Ah, uh, there's a fresh face I see. Welcome to me, weapon shop. If you don't want to return from your travels in a coffin, you should get some proper equipment. I like proper equipment. So they got axes. What about armor? Uh, these are all our, uh, weapons. Weapons, weapons, weapons. They need armor! I don't need weapons. 
What about equipment? He doesn't have anything. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, the way the fortune lady just said, there's many paths, and then sometimes there's one, and then there's many again. It's like, that could be anyone's life. Lame. Nope, oh, little kid. Lady, who are you? Because that was it. <laughs> uh, pretty lady. Uh, okay. That scar. You're what they call a dragon blood, aren't you? I've heard rumors about your kind. They weren't nice rumors, that's for sure. Right. Mean lady. I guess, yeah, she's a mean lady. Um, okay. Welcome to the general store. Take a look. Oh, wow. Uh, so we have some other stuff here, but... I mean, we don't have too much money. Gem pendant. What does that do? Defense three. They all do defense three. This does more agility. This does... It's not really worth it. Uh... Well... No, it is, because that's a defense three. Go with this. I just wasted half my money! Yay! Sure, slot two. Wow. We for money wasting. I love wasting money. Got everything? See you! I guess we have everything, yeah. This is a fun little town. Alright, this is a note to myself to never have spicy stuff on my food ever again. Because it's like keeps messing my boat. Sounds like you have a cold. It's kind of funny. Know, but I like don't have one that I know. Well, I've always play here with mom and dad or work. That girl over there always watches me while I'm playing. It's kind of creepy. That is pretty creepy. Yeah, if she wanted to play with me, she could just, you know, ask. Aww. Okay, he just says the same stuff again. Nobody cares. What girl watches him? What do you mean, what girl? The, the that girl. one. That boy over there is always playing by himself. I wonder if he has any friends at all. You could go talk to him. Yeah, you're also by yourself. Well, I have a dragon for an arm, so I mean, I don't really have a choice. I mean, the little girl is by herself. She's like being so judgy of that boy, but she's by herself too. Alright, let's go here because this is where it. The guy wanted us to go in the first place. Yeah. I'm just saying. Hey, welcome! Oh, mm. single player. Play the game in single player mode. Oh, they do have... The Ogre Fort. Local multiplayer. Mm. Adventure with up to four nearby players. Each player will need their own system and copy of the game to play. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, so the multiplayer, they just confirmed it right here. So in order for Amber and us to play... We would have to get our own version on her Switch for her to play along. Ooh, so I'd have to have my Switch next to you. Well, that's better than having two PS4s next to each other, though. Yeah, but the but way... still, you'd have to buy it twice. Yeah. yeah, you would have to buy it twice. This game was provided by uh, Inti Creates. And, you know, I mean, the way this game is structured right now, it'd be very easy to have multiple people play because they're on the same screen. Mm. Uh, let's explore a little bit more. We've got some ladies here. Did you hear the news, Hillary? They said a dragon blood has come to the slums. Ooh, I I'm going to be the other one. Okay. My word, a dragon blood? You mean the Astral Dragon's dragon blood clan? I, I guess that's all they had to say. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Uh, who are these chaps? I'm in charge of this gate. Good for you. It's my job to keep some people out and let others in. Really? Like salesman. That's... that's your line? Okay. What about you? Uh, let's see. This lift leads to the capital of Medias. Someone like you has no business there, so you'd best stay away. Yeah! Yeah. Well, there's a dog. What does the dog do? Uh, I, I guess I... Probably should have seen that coming. Wow, the slums don't look very good. I thought the dog was going to give a speech. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Never seen you before. You're new around here. Well, I can't say it's any of my business. Of course uh, he would talk all proper. He has a mustache. Yeah, he's got to have a proper talk. Oh, it's Surfer Guy again. 
Hey, for now, if you want to raise your stats in this world, you need to take on requests. Uh, okay. okay. You just got here, didn't you? I came here to work a long time ago when I was much younger. <laughs> I'll say. Oh my gosh, so she's been here the whole time trying to get a job. The city is the sort of place you grow more fond of the longer you live here. Plus, you can't leave because you don't get paid a lot. Okay. <laughs> I already said that. Oh, that's all she said? Okay. But she had more to share, I guess not. Chicken says, cluck. Eh, let's go in here. This looks. Good. This place is, seems closed for now. Well, that's just it fun. It seems that way. That water looks For now, if you want to raise your stats in this world, you need to, like, take on requests. Okay, so where am I? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this guy. Might you be a new adventurer? I was an adventurer myself not long ago. I'll have you know. I find yourself in any trouble. Feel free to ask me. I have much wisdom to impart. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's some other time. So I guess that bar that we went to. <laughs> <laughs> I like the dog. It's kind of funny. He's cute. The bar we went to is where uh, we get our missions and stuff like that. Mm. But I think this is a good stopping point. So anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of Dragon Marked for Death, let us know in the comment section below. And if you're interested in this game, it's out now on the Nintendo Switch. So you can totally check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, the game is like a Metroidvania like a uh, game that has a character that has a dragon on its arm. Yeah, well, I mean, well, yeah, no, we got into some cool fighting, though. But not any tremendous bosses yet, but I bet there's some pretty cool action yeah. coming up ahead. If you guys would like to see more of this, please let us know, and we'll have it go up alongside our Kingdom Hearts series, which happens two times a day. Yay! But until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. Check out Dragon Marked for Death, rated teen on the Nintendo Switch. Bye-bye. See ya!